Good morning, cultists. In our previous episode, we solved the mystery of the Arkham Stabber. Or I guess Arkham Stabbers would be more fitting. Turns out it's none other than ghost pirates seeking revenge for their stolen booty. And now, I think we need to head to the distillery. Yes. But before I do though, I'm just gonna check out the rest of this place. Wait. Didn't I already pick that up? What in the world? Hold on. I definitely picked that up. Why would that... Oh, maybe it's bugged. That's very weird. Yeah, we got the bottle of lead. Um, an old rum bottle with a lead pendulum and black substance inside. What is left of the black substance at the bottom of this corked bottle embodies the will of Cheaton Logan Dawkins, writhing with his undying desire for vengeance. Well, it's already been fulfilled, no? A very old globe, probably dating back to the 18th century. The familiar landmarks dotting this weary sp uh, sphere are infinitely far away now, if they even exist at all. Uh, that one could be devoured whole, or simply rip get ripped to shreds by serrated teeth of this fearsome shark is a very disturbing thought. This fuming ship stove is oddly unable to counter the inexplicable chill permeating this modest chamber. Looking at what lies beyond the panes of this Rytian objet d'art, uh, one may better compass the vastness of the bleak unknown encroaching upon the shores of Arkham County. With the seething vin vindictiveness that nourished these uh, wraiths and the hatred they felt towards their captain have abated, have abated, had their damned gold been uh, actually reclaimed? Now you may never know. Anything I can occult? I don't think so. Although it's of a smaller gauge than the ones that comprise the arsenal of the great war vessels of yesteryears, it can devastate the targets which it was originally engineered to hit, but whether it can harm the horrors from beyond remains debatable. Can it be that this heinous sea creature uh, critter, transformed into dusty decor, is actually a distant and perhaps ancient uh, deep sea relative of the eel? I believe so, and we've already checked this out. Who knows what glittering yet curse ridden treasures were once hoarded in this oaken chest. This grotty figurehead, which presumably once adorned the prow of a buccaneer's frigate, is an amalgamation of the of the Faustian sea devil and a siren. Averred by the overwhelming abundance of books on display, is the old sea dog's affection for obscure works on mythology, maritime history, and ancient polytheistic cults. And nothing that I can, um, I guess, what's it? A, a, a cult, unfortunately. Alright then, let's get out of here, and let's get away from these howling winds. Oh. Oh, right, because we deciphered the uh, first um, line of the poem. So now, the last wish of a bodiless starfarer shall be heard from the mouth of hot flesh. The last wish of a bodiless starfarer shall be heard from the mouth of hot flesh. Hmm. And why can I right-click this? Can I actually occult this? Or something? I'm assuming not. And he's just buggered off. Anywhere else to check out in this place? Nope. I guess we're good. Okay, now do we go back to downtown? Or do we just uh, straight up head for the distillery? Wait, don't I also have something that increases my travel speed? Uh, Danforth's compass, but lowers sanity gain from resting. Mm, let's give it to Fabrosi for now, and then we'll head to the distillery, I guess. And then if we need to rest, we'll just unequip the thing. Yeah, it does seem like I'm actually walking a lot faster, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know how frequently we encounter... You've encountered a lonely, grieving woman. Will you approach her? Okay, well, just as I mentioned, I don't know how frequent the um, random uh, events are going to be. Fear is redemption. Peculiar rock infested by vein root. This tuft of overgrown vein root um, rampantly sprouts from the depths of the dead earth, fostering the pungent alien mushrooms that cling to it by a queer symbiotic bond. Oh, I can medicine it. Oh, man. If only I had better medicine skills. Dang it. Oh, well. What's this? A corpse. What? There's no corpse there. Twigs, vein root spores, and that's it? 
Within this cluttered heap of dead vegetation, you might find salvageable organic materials to aid you in your endeavors. What? Okay. You see a middle-aged woman in uh, widow's attire. She looks devastated and is talking to herself. And I'll say to them, yes, I'll say it. She seems to be rehearsing a speech prepared for her yet unseen adversaries. You brutes! Will you stop this? At, you will stop this at once. How can you condemn innocent people to such a fate? She continues her speech while looking at you, though you're not sure if she re is really aware of your presence. And I'll teach those heartless men a, a lesson. I'll do it. Um. Excuse me, but this doesn't look like a good place to wander alone. Do you think I care, sir? What have I to lose? I'm on my way to do the right thing, and the one above protects the righteous. The derelicts in charge of that cancerous distillery. Oh, will account for their misdeeds. Mm. Well, for one, you've got your life to lose. You have a problem with the mob? Uh, you see, this is what I'm talking about. The fear has invaded our hearts when all we should ever fear is the Lord uh, God Almighty. This spiritual decline is what's really killing us as it her killed my herald. Uh, how did he die? You realize you oh sorry, you realize you've crossed into a territory she doesn't want to revisit. They killed him. He wasn't the kind of person to do that otherwise. He would never uh, have left me alone in this place. She's in tears now. I'm sorry, madam. He should have chosen his beverages more carefully. There are other existences than this. Death is not the end. That's uh, an occult thing to say, I think. There we go. Or esoteric thing. Would Harold meet his uh, rightful maker in this purgatory? Has his soul taken flight for the kingdom of heaven? Oh God, please tell me. She completely lo loses control and starts crying her heart out. You listen to her weeping as it is, as it echoes through the ruined streets. Soon her cries subside, but her the vengeful fires burning in her eyes show no sign of fading. You mentioned that something was troubling Harold. My husband was mayor assist mayor's assistant. He, he had a disturbing experience at work some time, uh, some while before the black day. I begged him not to think about it, but he just couldn't let it go. He started to drink, drink heavily thereafter. What exactly happened to him? Harold said that Mayor Anderson wasn't in a normal mood that day. He was anxious about a strange man visiting his office, a man in black. It had something to do with an invitation, I believe. Man in black? Do you know anything else about him? She seems uncomfortable. Oh, I don't want to think about it anymore. I don't know what to make of Harold's account. It's all too hard to digest, but my Harold never recovered from that incident. He believed that he had somehow been... Somehow, she's overcome by tears again. Damn it all. I wish the Lord had blinked me out too, or blinked me too, or blinded me too, so I wouldn't have uh, had read that journal. Hmm. Do you mind if I take a look at that journal? Why, no, you can't, sir. As you can see, I have much more pressing matters than sharing Harold's intimate accounts. I have a town to cleanse from the poison. Uh... Look, they'll kill you right away. Let me handle this. Granted, I solve your moonshine problem. Can I have a look at the diary? I don't know why you are so ins insistent on delving into my husband's troubled past, but if you can bring an end to their vile poison, she considers your offer for a short while. Yes, you can have my word, sir. Oh, you have my word, sir. I'll wait for you here, praying for your safe return. I know you won't let me down. The same way I know that we are the righteous. Um... Okay, we'll see about that, or I'll be back. I'll be back. Uh, hide somewhere and wait for my return. We'll see about that. Wait, so did I actually get to read her thing or no? Uh, doesn't seem like we got that. What is this? Alien specimen component, a collection of spores that was acquired from an infested rock formation. With an inquisitive mind and some knowledge in medicine, one could discover much about the new alien floor of Arkham. Oh, I see. Oh, I guess that's what the uh, medicine thing would have gotten me. Gotcha. And I think I'm still suffering from the spore stuff. Hmm. I'm hoping that we don't have to tussle at the distillery, but we'll see. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, right, the uh, journal. Uh, the poison spreads. Stop the production of the poisonous liquor. Met a weeping woman on my way to the distillery. Her husband was poisoned after she claims the mob is responsible. And she claims the mob is responsible. Sorry, I'm having a hard time reading today. 
Interestingly, her husband met the dismal man before the black day, like me, helping her might uncover more about this peculiar figure. Oh, so we get the journal after we've um, done the thing. All right, what do you want? The creature turns to you after observing the grieving woman with his coldly burning eyes. Really, only rarely does it comfort me to have neither people to love nor to love me. Never feel, never to feel the pain of losing a loved one. This is perhaps the only merit of my doomed existence. I can relate to that. You're an interesting creature. I'm getting tired of your moods. Watch the wandering woman silently. Hmm. I can relate to that. I guess. I don't know. And nothing else to check out. <laughs> Stupid corpse that doesn't exist. Okay, then let's continue to the distillery. Um, so far we're doing okay for rations. Camping supplies are fine too. And it seems my sanity is fairly good. So what, do I have to rest for the uh, spores to go away? Hmm. And still that whispering noise in the back. Another pile. Within this cluttered... Oh, we've already read that before. And... Got some twigs. Nice. Um... Hmm... I'm really hoping that we don't have to do a Royal Rumble here. Gotta say, I'm a little scared about this prospect. I'm assuming they don't want me to just wander around the... Or are they okay with it? Um, you see one of Waxface's made men among the brutes guarding the distillery. The stigmata on his face indicates he's another victim of syphilis, one of the demons plaguing Arkham that does not have a supernatural origin. Seems like you're tired of living, pal. Showing up at Waxface's distillery without notice. You've got guts, I have to admit. But you know what they say, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Main man draws his gun. Mmm, attack the mob men. I have to get inside the distillery. Can I just speech craft my way in? And I'm afraid I'll have to feel a tummy with a 45 caliber lead slugs. He points his revolver at you. Wait, I have a proposition. What could you possibly have in mind that deserves my attention, pal? Sounds to me like you're stalling for time. You and your men deserve real credit for manning such an important post. I'm here in an important business. Get out of my way. Nope. Oh, really? And in what form will this credit actually get materialized? Um, in the form of 50, 50 cigs, perhaps? 25 cigs? Hmm. I'm assuming we should go with a bigger option, right? Or should we go with the uh, smaller option? 25 cigs? Are you kidding me? You think I'd risk my fucking neck for 25 cigs? 50? It's nice to see that some still do appreciate the importance of our duty. He takes the bundle of six from your hands. Now, you wanted to get inside, right? First, you gotta tell me what you're planning to do inside. If it's cough and varnish you're after, I can give you some in the house. Mmm, I'd rather not tell you the reason, but trust me, I won't cause any trouble. Need to talk to Mr. Wheat. Need a certain chemical from the distillery. Richter sent me. Mmm, I guess... Sure, Richter sent me. You work for Richter? Can't say I envy you. Go ahead, but I'm warning you. If production slows down even a little bit, you're dead. Wax faces orders. I see, and I just lost 50 cigs. Damn it! Maybe I can get that back. Whoa, nice. They're not gonna complain for me uh, if I steal this stuff, are they? No. <laughs> Fantastic. Looks like I can just um, make some of my money back here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> hey! Fantastic. Yeah, they don't seem to care at all. This is nice. This is very nice. Hmm. Maybe I can sign some of these things or something. Spiraling tubes. Oh, I thought they were giant springs. And there's another pile in here. More twigs. Hell yeah. Now I can do a survival mode or something. Phosphorus, chemical filter, stylus fedora, lots of cigs, empty bottles. And... Wax face obviously rewards a subordinate with the exact same product they're sworn to protect. Great. Hmm. So how do I destroy the distillery? Then, I wonder. Do I need to speak to any of these dudes? I'm assuming not, right? Run along now. Run along now. These barrels once contained uh, machine lubricant. You can still make out the corroded brand logos on their sides, spelling gully. I see. And nothing else of note outside here, I don't think. Another pile. More twigs? Oh, it's just like Christmas. 
Officer Ferrod's Lucky Pendant increases melee by one. It's ironic that Officer Gabriel Ferrod of Napoleon's army, who wore this lavalier for uh, good luck in his duels, did died by the sword. Uh, sorry, died not by the sword, but by getting clobbered in the head by a baton during one of his drunken brawls. Ravished sleazy magazine. Oh my god. It's covered in jizz. You at first associated the blotchy state of this Carla Baretti feature issue to its exposure to harsh weather, but mo noticing the traces of bodily fluids on its gooey pages, you cry off from giving it the benefit of the doubt. Oh god. A useless key, few cigs, a club, uh, lock picks, and point, um, 270 uh, ammunition. I thought that guy was yelling at me for a second there. That's a, yeah, that's a rifle ammunition. Club. Um, it decreases my handling and also increases the AP cost, so maybe not. Hmm. Okay, then. Now, sorry, what else did I find from that place? Got some more lock picks. Can I use this for anything? And this increases my melee, but I don't know what else it does. And let me get rid of the uh, thing here since I don't need it anymore. Stylish foot. No, definitely this spring hat for Fabrosi, for sure. Um, nothing else then. I see. Not that I'm ungrateful for what I found so far, but you know, if I could get some more stuff, that'd be awesome. Oh shit! There's something up there. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Watch it turn out to be twigs. But um, I need to check it out. I absolutely need to. My RPG senses just dictate that I must investigate everything. Do you guys? Is this how you guys play RPGs? I have to know. I'm like, I can't be the only one that just... See? My goodness. Got ourselves a fucking hatchet. Handling zero. Oh. Look at that. It does cost a bit more AP, but it's uh, more damaging, so I feel like it should be a bit better. Hmm. I don't know how to, how to get rid of the spore ridden state of Fabrosi. I think maybe I just need to rest or something. Oh, shit, I can right-click on myself? Oh, my goodness. Huh. I never realized that. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Well, then, let's head inside the distillery itself. Um, we are looking for methyl alcohol, and I don't know who this Mr. Wheat is, but we're also looking for a way to, I guess, shut down the distillery, I suppose. Release the pressure! Distilling... The kid is called Distilling Machine. Fantastic. What's in this pile? Lo... Ah, oh, joyous day! We got a crowbar. We basically made all our money back from um, the bribery. Mm, slightly lowered handling, but better maximum damage. Whereas the hammer has slightly lower maximum damage, but hmm, increases critical chances and whatnot. Okay, let me just, um, I guess, check this out. This box might contain special tools or uh, other valuables, but right now is guarded by a sturdy lock. So I'm assuming that if I, I can't, right, I can't use it at all. Or that happens. What's in this pile? Alcohol, coke of Marie, can of kerosene, solvent, empty bottles. Fantastic. I love that they don't ca seem to care that I'm um, uh, just butting around. What's in this barrel? Horn, wheat. Empty kerosene, test tubes, rubber tubes. Mmm. Yeah, I guess we'll talk to the man then, because I don't know if there's anything else I need to look at. The foot pump mechanism is providing a sufficient force and pressure against the inner turbine of distillation tanks, making them turn around the central axis. <gasps> it's Albert Einstein, mixed with Theodore Roosevelt. You, sweaty, you see a sweaty, weary uh, man approaching you. His eyes and skin show the abrasive effects of alcoholism. He shouts at you. Didn't I tell you apes to stop entering my process? The next shipment is coming, all right. <gasps> now, leave me to my damn business. Um, I'm not with the... I'm here for something. The burly man gruffly interrupts you. You're enjoying my quality stuff long before the damn calamity. <gasps> Show some respect and get the... <gasps> get out! Uh, I'm not here with mob. That's not why I'm here. What are you doing exactly? Wax fades needs methyl alcohol and fast get on it. 
The man observes you with his reddish eyes. And why would that be? The alcoholic's breath washes uh, your face. To replace me? <laughs> you think I'm a fool? You'll have to kill me first, you hear? Um, I was just joking, I'm not with a mob. Hmm, I guess maybe I failed my speechcraft? Ha! <laughs> ah, very funny, pal. Did you come here just to tell shitty jokes? Or did you want a be <laughs> beating from this old timer too? Hmm... I mean, I'm in need for, of some methyl alcohol. Can you help me with it, sir? I guess we'll try to be respectful. Ah, it's easy. This laughable facility produces a ton of it already, and it doesn't make the product at the healthiest around. <gasps> but since there's no health inspectors left in this rotten town, it's no big deal, eh? Mmm. In that case, may I have some? That's good to hear. Uh, where should I get get it then? May I have some? Of course not. <gasps> I think this is the Arkham Charity Ball or something. In Kentucky, we earn things with our sweat and blood. Look, pal, I'm really tired of... Gestures at the distillation tanks. Of all this. You've got me grinding away in this place all day. Every day. A real... <gasps> slave drive, you know. And since there ain't no regular days and nights anymore... <gasps> I've been doing this, like... Forever. But you know what I really want to do? Want to cross my legs? Pour me a glass of Mammoth Cave and... Simply enjoy the damn... <gasps> thing. Oh, and a cigar. Of course, a cigar. Um, what should I do? Sorry to interrupt your fantasies, but what do you want from me? What should I do? The man lifts his gaze from the embers of the, of the from the ember of his imaginary cigar and continues in a much cooler tone. I'm going to get rid of the whole sun's waiting outside for me so I can finally have a decent rest. You want me to kill them? Yes, every single one. Talking to his unseen oppressors. You think I'm a goddamn slave, you, you bastards? You think you own Mr. Wheat? Speaking to you again. Kill them and I'll give you a bath in your damn wood call. Ugh. Mmm, I'll do that. Won't feel bad about this at all. Wait from here. I'm not much of a fighter. I may need a hand with that. Oh, you're the wimpy kind. <laughs> no worries there, pal. Mr. Wheat has an answer for that, too. He, sip, he slips a small bottle into your hand. There's a barrel moonshine. The good stuff that they keep for themselves. <gasps> near the gate. Pour this into the barrel and leave the rest to my little... <gasps> Hell there. And before you go, I don't know how you managed to get in here, but they... <gasps> shoot on sight. Um... I meant that I'm not going to kill them. Hmm... I have my ways, don't worry. So, are they going to kill me for tampering with the alcohol then? Uh, I guess I don't really have any issues with the mob members dying. Is that going to turn them against me? I have my ways, don't worry. Wait, what the hell did I just get? Uh, Mr. Wheat's weakened poison. Wait, what is Mr. Wheat's weakened poison? Uh... Oh wait, do I have it in my- oh, there we go. Uh, the formula for wheat's weakened poison. I see, so he didn't- Oh, an extremely toxic poison versus a weakened version. Oh, I see. So I guess the weakened one- I'm sorry. Like, I can't turn down the- the wind noise without turning down the entire uh, sound noise. Like, the, uh, the volume of the, um, thing. So I need a chemistry set. Facility. Well, I have what I need. Mmm. This vial of thin down methanol mixture will enable you to remove the mob forces from the distillery by non-lethal means. I can't... I don't seem to have access to the um, chemistry set though, so... I don't know how to uh, do it from this location. Can I talk to this kid? Dot, dot, dot. Great. Well... Is the mob going to attack me if I try to tamper with their shit? Hmm... Not sure I like the idea. I do have a crowbar now though, which is pretty cool. But otherwise... Hmm... Where am I supposed to get a chemistry set from? Or like, I guess I have to go back into town then? Damn. 
Well, I guess I do have a fair bit of stuff to sell. And I do have a lot of kerosene, too. Hmm. We can use the, uh, talk poison on it. So, what? I guess the weakened poison will maybe just knock them out or something, so that they don't, um, die, and then Mr. Weak can just bugger off? Or... Do you want to just straight up kill them? Hmm... If I do kill them, I wonder if they're going to know, uh, that I'm the one that did it. And I also really want to get rid of this, um, this, uh, spore pr uh, problem, so... Actually, how about we rest? Yeah, let's do that instead, and then we can also find out what the malediction of that uh, thing is. Or you know what? I guess I could try wearing it now, right? The um, the thingamajig and seeing what the if there's anything that changes. Crystal glances of gl glasses of xanthry. These enigmatic spectacles, rumored to be laden with the tragedies of a lost race, was discovered by F. H. Baker, a Barker. Um. Obviously related to Clyde Barker, who makes Clyde Barker's Clyde Barker's um, stuff by Clyde Barker, who was ridiculed because of his claims that he that held the artifact to be of Atlantean origin. Ooh, I see. Mm, then let's put on Danforth's compass. I guess I can just rest outside without um, doing anything else, right? Because I can just do this. Uh, except I can't. Oh, I guess I need to be on the way over to somewhere. Hmm. Alright, so let me just think here. So, if we dis we if we kill the entire mob thing, that'll stop the... Uh, sorry, if you kill everyone, everyone in the distillery with the poisoned um, liquor or poisoned uh, uh, elixir, then we can effectively stop this permanently. If we get Mr. Wheat out of here, will that also stop the uh, alcohol production permanently, though? Hmm. I don't know what's better. I mean, if I do want to make that weakened version, then we definitely have to go into town, because I have no chemistry set around here. Ah. Uh, and I need to rest, too. Shit. Contains enough poison to kill a small number of adults. If I... Another question is, if they die, can I loot their dead-ass bodies? Because that would definitely be a huge benefit to me. Um... Damn it. But then if I use... Make the alcohol, the weakened poison, then that means they won't, uh... Then I, I, I won't have the, um, toxic version of it. Damn it. Not sure. I'm a little racked with self-doubt right now. I honestly have no idea what the right choice is. Hmm. Alright, you know what? Let me just get some rest. Find out the malediction for the, um, uh, glasses or whatever. And then we'll try what we can. So, stop here. Rest. Barbrosi. I guess we should probably do some either occult research or psychological treatment of the outsider. Or I guess we could do both. Yeah, his, uh... Oh, we can do some more medical research too. Medical treatment, I don't think I need to. Psychological treatment of the outsider I think is probably important. Um, and occult research or medical research. Considering that our occult research is a little slower, let's wait until we find out the malediction and then we'll use that instead. And then, we'll just do some more medical research on, I guess... General medical research? Or raw opium? Let's try to find out more about the stuff that we have. In the meantime, we can research that, and then do some medical treatment on, I guess... Sonia? Or Fibrosi? Hmm... Benefit zero health. Really? Zero health? So what? He can't... Do medical stuff at all? Fine, maybe just Fabrosi then. Keep watch and do some reconnaissance and hope that we don't get ambushed in the middle of our sleep. Exhaustion passed. Processed opium. Oh, okay. So we've discovered the malediction of the crystal glasses of Xanthiri. Uh, Xanthiri, rather. 
and she's recovered health. Uh, Outsider's not fully up with his stuff, though, but that's fine. So what does this do? The character accumulates a small amount of angst each time the glasses are worn. Really? Each time the glasses are worn? Damn. Mm. How much angst exactly? Maybe we'll uh, find that out once we actually, um... Hmm. Once we actually, uh, get into town or something. Alright, uh, let's continue on. And then we'll end the episode once we're back in Arkham. There's an extremely pale, lifeless-looking man in U.S. military uh, infantry uniform, manically firing at his surroundings with his military rifle. Uh-oh. Are we about to get our butts kicked? Jeez. That thing's insane. He'll kill us all. Doc, he's shooting again. You see an extremely pale, lifeless-looking man dressed in a U.S. infantry uniform, manically firing at his surroundings with a rifle, lost in some kind of nervous breakdown. He's shouting at the air in a haunting tone. Requesting reinforcements. They've got us pinned down in Zeebrug. And am ammunition low. He fires another round at his invisible enemies. Reinforcements, sir. The woman cries out in cries out in fear. We first thought it was the army coming to. We first thought it was the army coming to save us. And out of nowhere, the bastard started shooting at us. God damn you, Ines! You won't take me alive. He ferociously fires several more rounds into the air. You hear me? Observe the emotion, a man's emotional state, or run up and seize the rifle with his, from his hands. Let's uh, observe. The soldier talks into a telephone handset with a severed cord. Lieutenant Johnson, we're having a hard time here, sir. The Heinies are closing in. Third platoon, awaiting orders, sir. Ten Hut, Lieutenant Johnson here. Lower your weapon, Private. Oh, so I guess we can pretend to be his, uh, CO. That is not the enemy soldier. Those are United States civ civilians. There's no enemy, enemy here, soldier. Calm down, you're suffering from shell shock. Mmm... Let's not pretend he might turn on me or something, maybe. Uh... Let's say that those aren't sold or, uh, um, enemies. There's hesitation in the soldier's sunken, lifeless eyes. Sir, but they're... But the Germans, sir. The soldier's speech begins to slow to in it slow down in a weird way. The enemy is upon us. Lower your rifle, Private. That's an order. Are you hoping for a court martial? This is my last warning. Lower your rifle, Private. That's an order. The lost soldier is silent as a statue. He responds slowly in a neutral tone, almost totally devoid of life. Sir, yes, sir. Approach the soldier. I guess we're actually approaching him. I was hoping we could end this um, and then continue this in our next episode, but I guess not. Oh, we just straight up took the rifle from him. His cold, dead stare suddenly shows a slight glint of respect, as though he recognizes you. Lieutenant Johnson, awaiting orders, sir. Uh, so we can observe him. Let's observe him using our occult knowledge. After scrutinizing him closely, he came to the conclusion. Came to a conclusion. This man is actually a corpse, reanimated to a mockery of life by some process unknown to you. Observe the creature a while longer. Even the dead cannot remain in this pl accursed place. It cannot remain dead in this accursed place. The tormented dead walking through a world of fading memories. You clueless fool, you've been reanimated. This is the first time I've seen one of your kind. Let's observe him a little while longer. You eventually spot the wound that took his natural life. A hole almost two inches in diameter is apparent in the chest of this of his dusty uniform. A tormented dead walking through a world of fading memories. Uh, I guess this is more the esoteric um, thing to say. I guess not. The dead man is completely motionless, the embodiment of the ideal soldier, remaining tamely intact until the next command. Mm, can you hear me? The pale man's speech slows to a mechanical drone. Lieutenant Johnson, sir, is this a test, sir? Uh, what's wrong with you? Yes, it is. What? What's wrong with you? His voice seems to rise from beneath the earth. The mission, the intelligence we received was wrong, sir. Inaccurate. We took heavy casualties. Many good men lost. I can still hear them. 
Sir. What mission? Are you talking to me? I'm getting impatient. What mission? Awaiting order, sir. Um, you've mistaken me for someone else. Listen to me then, you sad thing. Attend hut! The soldier immediately snaps to attention. Tell me who you are. Pale soldiers pauses as though he's lost in a no man's land of dead memories. Sir, I don't know, sir. I can't remember. Oh, he's a new companion, maybe. Follow me, I guess I can keep you in check. Sorry to hear that. Nameless soldier ready to receive orders from me. Follow me, you may prove useful. I'm sorry to hear that. The soldier stays silent. He's staring at a battlefield which will devour him sooner or later. Um, follow me, I guess I can keep you in check. The lost soldier looks at your followers. Your regiment seems to be at full capacity, sir. His speech gets slower and his voice thicker. I'll be on watch here. Guarding. Waiting. Goddamn heinies. Wait. So can I come back to recruit him later? Or do I have to like recruit him now because we're out in the middle of nowhere? Well, you know what? Whatever the case may be, let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and I think we'll head back into town. I don't know if I want to use the weakened form of the poison. But now that we have the... Uh, oh, and it seems the spore has gone. But now that we have the crowbar, I think I might actually drop by into the warehouse, pry open all the shit, and then see what we can do from there. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!